Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Raptoy Death, and today I'm going to be talking about whether you need a master's degree in civil engineering. But before we get into it, of course, I got to ask you to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at the Lurches Monster. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so do you need a master's degree in civil engineering? The direct answer is 100% no, you do not need a master's degree in civil engineering. I will get into the reasons why it's good to have one a little later on in the video, but right now let's focus on the bachelor's degree. Typically in the United States, it takes four years to earn a bachelor's degree. And in those four years, when you're studying civil engineering, you will learn about the four branches of civil engineering. Um, those are geotechnical, structural, transportational, and environmental. And you'll, you'll get some in-depth knowledge, some, some good juice of each each branch, you'll kind of figure out what you like and what you don't like. And after you graduate, there are going to be a lot of different opportunities that you can go into. I'm going to give you some examples. Some of my classmates, some of my friends, they, they work for just various companies um, doing various types of work. Some examples, one of my friends works for National Grid and she is a chief construction inspector. So if you like being outside, you don't think a desk job, nine to five is really for you, but maybe, you know, being an inspector or, or being um, um, a field engineer is really down your alley, right? You can be outside most of the day. You won't be behind a computer if that's, if that's something you pursue. You have that, that opportunity um, presented to you. One of my friends, uh, you know, works as a structural engineer at a consulting firm. You know, he's doing a lot of design work and sometimes he'll go out into the field and make sure they're building um, what he designed, which is really cool. You know, you have a lot of different flexibility. Like I said, you could be in the office, you can be in the field, you can do both. Good balance is always nice. Um, another person I actually talked to on Instagram who saw one of my videos, they work in Florida. They work for the DOT, um, the Department of Transportation, and they design highways. So it's really cool. Um, but, you know, there's plenty of opportunities that you can pursue when you have a bachelor's degree in civil engineering. A lot of job postings you'll see, um, entry level, you know, they, they won't really require a master's degree, but sometimes it's preferred. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't apply. Um, really what it comes down to is having that bachelor's degree and growing from there. Now let's talk about the master's degree and why somebody should pursue one and the benefits they get if they do pursue one. A little background about me, um, I, studied batch, I studied bachelor's, I studied civil engineering at Stony Brook University and I got my bachelor's degree there. And I studied civil environmental engineering at Columbia University, which I got my master's degree. And for me, I was really passionate about environmental engineering, which is why I decided to obtain a master's degree. And that is the first main reason why I would recommend anybody um, you know, who's, you know, on the border of, of thinking about, it's a great restaurant, by the way, on the border, but on the border about thinking if they want a master's degree or not. If you truly love one of the branches of civil engineering and you want a greater in-depth knowledge of that branch, by all means, go for it if you have the funds. The second reason why is money. Um, the Bureau of Labor posted some statistics that I looked over briefly. And they said that um, a master's degree will get you nine to thirteen percent uh, pay increase, salary increase, compared to if you just had a bachelor's degree. And this is because you have more specialized knowledge. You are a greater asset to the company, whether that's true or not. But you do have greater in-depth knowledge, and you could probably provide more to that company using that knowledge. 9 to 13% give you some quick math here. If you started with $50,000 and you got a master's degree, that's a, you know, like a $6,000. No, that's really bad math. $5,000 raise um, to $10,000. So let's say right off the bat, if you started at $50,000, you could jump up to $55,000, $60,000, somewhere in between 9 and 13%, um, which is really cool. So yeah, you, you, typically would get paid more money with a master's degree. Um, it's not guaranteed, but typically you would. The third reason I can think of is because of the PE exam. The f so the first step, if you don't know what the PE exam is, let me, let me 
backtrack a little bit. There's something called the FE exam. If you don't know what the FE exam is, look at my videos about the FE exam. That's a shameless plug. But the FE exam is the fundamentals of engineering exam. Um, and that will give you the title of EIT, engineer in training. And after you have the EIT, you will need four years of experience to take your PE exam, which is the professional engineering exam. And when you have a PE license, let's say you pass that exam, you can sign off on documents, sign off on plans, you get a cool stamp. Uh, you know, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. But if you have a master's degree, you only need three years of experience compared to the four. So that gives you an advantage. You are one year closer to taking the PE exam and hopefully passing it. The fourth reason why obtaining a master's degree is very beneficial is that it will help you stick out of the crowd when applying to jobs. Some job listings will require you to have a master's degree. Some will say it's preferred to have one, but either way, it will help you give you that advantage of landing that interview and hopefully getting that job. So just to wrap up all four reasons, the first one being you want to learn more about one of the branches because you love it, you're super interested, in it, you're super passionate about it, you just want to learn more. Number two, it will likely give you a pay increase. Number three, it gets you closer to the PE licensure. And number four, it will help stick you out of the crowd and hopefully give you that advantage of landing the job. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. I love seeing your comments. Smash the like button, that's so important. Uh, hit the bell for more videos coming. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at TheLurchnessMonster. I also have a Snapchat. I'll put that in the description below if you want to add me there. Anyways, guys, I love you so much. Please stay safe in this pandemic. And may God bless all of you. Peace out.